Let's talk about proven strategies for writing emails that get more opens. Listen, email marketing is still my favorite form of marketing. It's not as glamorous as Instagram. It's not as fun and as funny as TikTok, but it is so steady and reliable. In fact, with a potential return on investment of over 4,000 and 400% more than other marketing strategies, if this is not a primary focus of you or your client's marketing strategy as a whole, you are really missing out, my friend. Before we dig into the proven strategies, I just want to briefly touch on why email is still so effective. First, it's because you are entering into their virtual living room. They are sitting down, they are opening their emails, and it's an opportunity to really speak to them as you would a friend, to have a conversation that's one-on-one. -on -one. In fact, that is one of the first recommendations I always make to any of my clients is to have that one-on-one -on -one conversation. Don't send out emails that sound like you're talking to a mass audience. Make the effort and take the time to really connect with them on an individual basis. I mean, they can respond. You can start a dialogue and a conversation. So it's really a genuine opportunity to connect with your audience in a more meaningful and impactful way. The other main reason email marketing is so impactful is that you get a lot of very helpful numbers that you can integrate back into your email marketing so that you can have a more impactful conversation. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about that. So the first thing I wanna recommend is to test email subject lines. It's super easy to do. Email platforms make it really easy to do A-B testing, which means you can try two different subject lines. A portion of the emails will go out with one, a portion will go out with the other, and then the rest, once it has chosen a winner, right, will go out to the winning subject line meaning you will have an opportunity to send out your email with the more impactful subject line to a greater percentage of your audience. So leverage this. It's so powerful. In fact, with one of my clients, we did some simple A-B testing and we were able to identify an interest that her whole audience had and we increased her overall open rate by about 15%. It was really, really powerful. So use A-B testing. It's such a simple tool that's already integrated in most email service providers. The next piece of advice I have for you is to examine your analytics. So this means things like open rates, click-through rates. Take some time to actually look at them and see if you can identify any patterns. Obviously make sure that you are kind of lining up with industry standards. For example, a 20% open rate is considered generally pretty good and a 1% click-through rate is generally considered pretty good. Keeping in mind, sometimes when people are like, oh, I have a 50% open rates because they have a really low volume of emails on their email list. And so you got to keep that in mind. The bigger the number, generally, the closer you're going to get to industry standards. However, I have an email list of almost 300,000 people and I have an open rate of about 40%. So you can definitely break that average with a lot of testing and just some thoughtful examination of your statistics. Another thing you can do is to check your spam score which can be included in some email service providers, but also there are some really helpful tools online. But it's a great way to kind of see if you have anything that's going to get flagged as spam. And this can be things like saying, you know, free or really shocking clickbaity headlines and buy one, get one free and free shipping and, you know, all that stuff that's just like really over the top salesy marketing uh, subject lines that kind of get things knocked into the spam folder. Make sure you're checking on this because this can obviously impact your open rate. If you have a high percentage of emails ending up in spam, it's going to bring your open percentage down. So take some time to make sure that your emails aren't ending up in spam. Now, let's say you don't have a great open rate. Generally, all you need to do is test and tweak the subject line. But if you don't have a great click-through rate, then you probably want to have more compelling copy in the email itself. So let these numbers guide you. Don't reinvent the wheel if you don't have to. If you have a great click-through rate, but a not so great open rate, then you generally just need to fix the subject line. So don't make things harder on yourself if they don't need to be. And definitely, this is one of my biggest pieces of advice. It has been so impactful for myself and for my clients. Segment your email list. Get to know your email list. They're gonna have slightly different interests. And so if you can have segments of lists based on those interests, 
You can send out emails that speak directly to them. It is such an impactful strategy and 89% of email marketers don't bother to segment their email list, which is a huge mistake because you can speak to their needs so much more powerfully if you know exactly who you're talking to. So be sure you're tagging people based on their interests and based on their activity and then using those segments to have a better, more thoughtful conversation. And then finally, scrub your email list, meaning clean up the people who are not really interested or engaged. I keep a really clean email list. I don't like to keep people on there who are not interested or engaged. I clean it up every six months or so, so it's not anything super excessive, sometimes even once a year. But I do take the time to make sure I'm getting rid of people who are interested in. Sometimes when you're working with a client, this can kind of freak them out. The idea of it, because they think of every subscriber as being super precious. And they are. But you really only want to be talking to people who are really interested in what it is you're talking about. You don't want to piss people off. You don't want them sending you to spam. So make sure you're keeping the contacts that are actually engaged. And also, this reminds me, you are going to have some people who unsubscribe. Sometimes clients get freaked out about that, but I remind them that it's a good thing. You generally want about 1% of people unsubscribing from your email list. You don't want people on there who are angry or frustrated or don't like to hear what you have to say. So let them go. It's okay. We're not meant to be for everybody, and that is totally, totally fine. So I hope this helps. Like I said, email marketing is one of my favorite forms of marketing. You as a copywriter can actually specialize just in email marketing. It's a lot of fun. You get to build relationships with people. You get to have, you know, stronger one-on-one communication because they will respond to your emails and make sure you have something in place to be able to respond. So that is why I love email marketing. It's super impactful. It's a great way to connect with your audience, to get to know them better, to learn from them, and to provide them with value that they actually want. So I hope this helps. Go ahead and hit that thumbs up button if it did. Love hearing from you guys in the comments. And of course, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, guys.